we're preparing for a Mexican fiesta. Really? Does that sound delicious? Tell me. Don't okay, tell me. Okay, I'm not telling you. Not Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. This year is it's following fall on the 5th of May. You got that right. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and, and this Sunday, by the way, Easter falls on Sunday this year. It sure does. Chef uh, Jeff uh, Smedstead, yep. who we love, oh, he's uh, great. is from the, what's the name of this place? Elote. Elote Cafe in Sedona mm -hmm. is here to share recipes for your upcoming Cinco de Mayo celebration. All right. And we are going to make, I hear, green chili shrimp. Oh, that sounds so good. This, this, this one of the most wonderful, marvelous chefs you'll find anywhere the best. in the United States is His here. food is yeah. to die for. And so good. He doesn't have time now because he's busy. Yes, so he is. He, he's, he's we'll getting, talk more. He's getting set up for 945. Uh, in the kitchen this morning, Chef Jeff Smedstead back with us whipping up some delicious dishes. But these recipes are anything but boring. No, they, they never are. His uh, food is just amazing. And his uh, restaurant, Elote Cafe, up in Sedona. Sedona, yes. Yeah, so in, in light of, uh, we've got uh, Cinco de Mayo coming up here. Which falls, which falls on what? The 5th of May? The 5th of May. <laughs> so it's something that you could make, perhaps, for your family. Anyway, okay. living uh, in the valley, uh, one of the holidays that we're always looking for, forward to is my birthday which comes no no that would it's be a, april 30th <laughs> and after that comes this next holiday cinco de mayo it's up all in on a on the uh, 5th of may yeah i believe yeah <laughs> this morning <laughs> chef jeff smedstead from elote cafe in sedona is showing us how to make some delicious dishes for your cinco de mayo fiesta you're watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning. Hey, one of the most fantastic chefs you'll find anywhere in the country is Jeff Hands Smedstead. Down. And we sincerely believe that. He's the owner of Elote Cafe in Sedona. Hello, hey. good morning. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me. I just uh, We you know, love when you come on. I'm excited to show some of my new dishes. We're doing some things that are just really near and dear to my heart. Cool. And and it's kind of developing and evolving my style as it goes along. And it's great for Cinco de Mayo. If exactly. We, if we want to come up to Sedona for the weekend or if we want to try one at yeah. home. But we're going to do a green chili rock shrimp today Ooh. with grits because I lived in the south too. So okay. we're just injecting all grits. these different things. And you've traveled though all around. That's why yeah, I have. you can honestly say you know I do this know. cuisine, this type of food. And another thing, too, is you actually studied the Mexican cuisine down in Mexico. I did. I spent 21 years. It just occurred to me I've been going down there for 21 yeah. years. This is a real simple sauce we're going to make here. Okay. This is the green chili sauce. We got some onions, and see how they're already starting to brown up in there? Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to throw some green chilies in there. I've got green chili powder. Okay. I wrote a recipe with substitutions okay. for you at home. If we can't find it. If you can't find it. Oh, that's, that's Mexican nice. oregano. It's very thoughtful. This is maseca. What so is it's that? a dried cornmeal. <laughs> Um, it might be hot, Rick. I don't want you to. Touch. A little bit of granulated garlic, and there I'm not go. trying to fry everybody Thank you. up. Look, okay, I'll hold We've this real. A little bit of kosher salt there, a touch of cumin, and then here comes the big splash. What is okay. this going to be? This is chicken stock. Oh. And all you're going to do at this point is simmer it. Cook there this down. There is one other wonderful ingredient if you're lucky enough to find it, and these are sun dried. Uh, hatch green chilies, but oh. they're rather rare. I get I them out of find. Mexico. They're about 30 bucks a pound to me. Okay. Wow. So if you found them in the store, they might be 40 or 50. Oh so my. pretty good. That's okay. a nice dimension. And then will we flavor. blend that up after it's cooked Yeah, down? you're just going to let that simmer, and okay. I'll show you the we'll end dish here in a right. second. Okay. And then we've got some grits going with that, and grits are just simplified polenta, which, Rick, I know you're familiar with I'm polenta. I'm familiar with polenta. Yeah, I, I, the Italian I also lived in the South for a long time, too, chefs. I know what grits So all we're going to do is stir this up, and then we're just going to give this a little stir every once in a while. And the chicken stock I've got there is smoky and it's also salty enough, yeah, so I know I'm done. All that yeah, good okay. flavor. Now, okay, now the shrimp. Here. Okay, rock here we go. Shrimp. This okay. is going to be done in record okay. time. Woo, so we've woo. got some little rock shrimp going there. Now the secret is having a real hot pan and real hot oil, right? You know, it's it's tough to uh, to get that across enough to people, but when they come eat in my restaurant, they often ask, "What's the secret?" Yeah. It's little things like that. Yeah. What did you? What else did you just put in there? I put in some roasted carrots. So these are some heirloom oh, carrots that we have uh, grown up in Camp Verde. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we're just having a lot of luck with the local farms up there. Okay. Little smidge of salt and pepper, not too much. Okay. And then we've got some bacon over here. Oh, oh, pork fat rolls. I cut that. my own. <laughs> this is Nyman Ranch bacon. We buy it by the slab. We don't bother getting it sliced. And look at how thick it is. That's what I like is that nice thick texture going on in there. And everything at this point can just be turned off here. Okay. And nice and simple. Now I can show you how we finish this dish. We'll come in here with some green chili. Okay. This is the big finish now, right? And you're actually finishing that shrimp. It's done. Oh, look at that. It and is, the neat it is thing you know right when it turns pink, right? Yeah, and the neat thing about rock shrimp is it's got high points from the Monterey Bay uh, Seafood Watch for uh, being sustainable. Okay. So okay, there, there we you go. go. 
Let's you then do we're going to go ahead and put some of that on there. Uh, but I mean, so this is shrimp and grits done my way. Does that make sense? So this is on your menu. This is on my menu okay. now, but it may not be on my menu because we're changing constantly. Okay. We've got all these new ideas and new dishes. And you've got, I mean, everything well, from... Well, pork cheeks over here on top of, I was telling you, that's mm. my grandma's corn cake. She's from North Dakota, but it's really good, so I don't <laughs> If care. grandma made it, it's, I'm it's, sure it's good. When my mother saw that on the menu, she actually started to cry, so oh. I knew I was on the right track. Elote, the dish that is. Mm -hmm. So that's my whole life right there. Tomato salad with mm. homemade Oaxaca cheese. Oh, you did that. For summer, we've got the green chili, the same green chili here paired with a nice corn soup. Oh, wow. And then we've got uh, short rib tamal over there. And then uh, over here, we've got green chorizo, queso fundido, the new hit at the restaurant. Love that. Okay. And then an almond dorado or almond tequila creme brulee to and, finish it all off. And while, and while you're, waiting you're waiting for your table. And while you're waiting for your table, we got the spiced popcorn, which ain't <laughs> half bad. It's delicious. I keep eating it. Okay, we're going to taste. The recipes for the green chili shrimp, it's up on our website. But definitely, if you're up in Sedona, me check up there. him out. Yes. You are this amazing. Dish, I love this dish. Try this. And, and did you see how fast that was? Yeah. I mean, the only thing we're doing at that point is hitting the blender with the sauce, and you're done. Mm, the grits delicious. are almost done already. Oh. This is wonderful, Chef. No cheat here. Just no. good stuff. You're amazing. We're going to eat. Corey's going to talk.